What can World War II airplanes teach us about decision making? Apparently, a lot. Consider the fact that in World War II, when statisticians were studying surviving airplanes, when they analyzed the bullet holes, they found that the surviving airplanes had a tremendous amount of bullet holes in the wings. And most statisticians suggested that they should put armor on the wings. One particular statistician said, you should actually put the armor in the cockpit. They said, why, why do you say that? He said, look, that those airplanes that you're studying and analyzing are the ones that survived. You're not considering all of those airplanes that we lost. And those are the ones that got hit in the most critical locations. That is the cockpit where the pilot actually is. Therefore, you should actually put the armor there. This is known as the survivorship bias. We look at the winners, we look at the anomalies, and we make decisions based on that. From the high school dropout who became a billionaire or the chain smoker that lived up to 110. Over and over again in our society, we take the anomalies and we make them the rule or the standard. The solution is to study not only the survivors, but everyone, the ones who survived and the ones who didn't, in order to make the most appropriate decision. When we study the survivors and when we say that the high school dropout became a billionaire or the person who was a chain smoker and lived to over 100, what we're doing is we're actually putting the armor on the wings as opposed to on the cockpit. Abraham Wald is the statistician who discovered this phenomenon. All the best to you.